Hi everybody, happy Friday. I'm coming to you a couple hours early this week, hopefully. You guys saw my reminder yesterday. I have to pick up a daughter from camp this afternoon. So I needed to make sure I was done in time. It's about an hour away. So here we are at noon. It feels really weird to be doing this earlier in the day. I don't know, everything just shifted. <laughs> it's very, I don't know, it just feels very weird. Well, Facebook isn't opening on my iPad for some reason. Let's give it a minute. Of course, it chooses to update when I want to open it. Hi, Trisha, how are you? All right, good, I see you guys jumping on. Um, there was something I was gonna do first. Um, now I can't remember what it was. We're gonna use Round We Go today. Uh, this is a really cute set. Got great little sentiments. But also, this die right here is really fun. It makes a paper rosette. And I feel like paper rosettes are really popular, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, but they were kind of hard to make. Um, you know, you had to score all the lines. Well, this die cuts it for you. So we're gonna make two of those, and then we'll use the stamp, the stamps, uh, um, just the stamps on a project as well. Uh, this was out of stock earlier in the week and it's back and it's on sale for $40. Um, all of the bundles are on sale. Remember, I showed you this last week. Um, if you go to the Stampin' Up! website, it's like the first giant image that you'll see, uh, bundle sale all month. And the bundles are on sale. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out too, if you have not gotten the cut and emboss machine or the mini cut and emboss machine, they're included in the bundle sale as well. Uh, that little baby uh, boho blue cut and emboss machine is very sweet, I love it. And it's good if you, you know, if you go to crops, if you take your crafting on the road, they're really good. And I would say majority of our dies fit in that. Uh, there's a little icon in the catalog and online that'll tell you whether the dies fit in the mini or not. And I would say about 90% of them do. Uh, so it's a really good, I haven't been to a crop in, gosh, 10 years. But if I was still going to crops, uh, I would definitely have that little machine and take it with me. It's really cute. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to flip you guys around and see post is live thank you trisha for telling me i appreciate that i uh tried to get it scheduled and everything last night so that because i knew today i'd be kind of running around let's see i feel like we're really zoomed in let's see if i can well maybe not i don't know that's all it's doing today it's not moving at all Okay, now I can't see what you guys are saying, so hold on. Now Facebook is updated, so let me get that going. And I have been doing cr uh, Christmas crafting the last day, last couple of days, you guys. We have Christmas online stuff coming out, and it's so bizarre to do Christmas this time of year. It's very hard. I can I can craft ahead for a lot of things, but Christmas is just hard. I don't want Christmas to get here any faster than it already does. It's very strange. But online exclusives coming, I believe July 5th is the day. So be on the lookout for that. All right, scorpion and snake free this week. Yes, Stacy, thank you. Walking sticks is the new thing. Have you guys you guys have walking sticks where you're at? They're like this big. They're huge. They don't hurt you, but they're creepy. And I mean, I've seen them from time to time, but since we moved in this house, they're everywhere. My daughter even drove to school. And when she got to school, it was, uh, there was one, a giant one on her car. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not, those don't freak me out as much as obviously a scorpion or a snake do. Um, yes, Elizabeth, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Okay, let me focus. Um, first, let me show you, uh, Brittany, I don't know if Brittany's watching today, but Brittany sent me a goodie box and I just have to share. Brittany makes these, um, what do you call these? These really cool insulated mugs. And she made this one with our new in colors. Isn't that beautiful, Brittany? I just wanted to give you a shout out, tell you thank you. I mean, she just sent me like some really fun um, goodies. Let me open this. I haven't even opened this. Just, you guys, some of you, your gift of like gifting and thinking of others just really amazes me. So Brittany, thank you so much. Um, 
when this came, I was like, oh my gosh, my friend Rhonda got one. And of course, Brittany sent me one too. Look at that. That's so cute. Eat, sleep, craft, and repeat. And these are my favorite pens right now. These Sharpies, uh, just like a gel pen. They're awesome. Um, and then she sent me, of course, this is super cute. I have a little, um, a little, what do you call this? Clipboard up by my door that I keep a record of when the mailman comes because I like to give him stuff. And so I'm going to use that. That's cute. And then, of course, a clear block and a bone folder. Oh, it has my name on it. I'm going to take this out because I'm always missing my bone folder. I'm going to put this right here. Brittany, if you're watching, thank you very, very much. Very, very thoughtful. Brittany gave me one of these um, when we were at on stage. It was a Diet Coke. Um, I'm, I shared a picture with you guys. And it is awesome. It was awesome while there so that I could carry it around. My drink stay cold. And that now, especially when it's pool season. Um, I want to show you this uh, this uh, card, too. You guys, am I in the right place? Just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Suddenly, I was having a little bit of a panic attack. Nope, okay. Um, I don't know why you can't share the video. Sometimes if you close it and, and open it again, that helps. I don't know. I know, Kimberly, spring. It's been summer here for a solid month. We are 100, 100, 100. So I definitely, it feels like summer. It's not even really officially summer. Isn't that weird? But it's definitely very difficult to think about Christmas. Um, Laura, my downline, sent me this beautiful card. And I just wanted to share. I like how she made it. It's like a fun fold. It's just a simple little fun fold like that. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Laura. And, and that gray just makes everything pop. So pretty. Laura's a beautiful stamper. She's the one that made that cow... Um, Remember when we did the little cow and it had those little straws in it? She's the one that designed that project. It was so cute. Okay, uh, let's talk about Club Create. So Club Create, by the way, this month's Club Create shipped nine days early. Can, can I just take a bow? I was very proud of myself for getting it out so early. We're leaving next Saturday for vacation. And then they usually ship around the 21st. And I'm always like challenging myself to get Club Create out before the 21st and sometimes it doesn't happen because it's a it's a it's a big job club create because i have so many so it takes me a good week solid week to really get all of that done um so i got it out you guys club create shipped was it yesterday or day before yesterday i think it was yesterday so club create it's on the way so here's july's club create this beautiful mediterranean blooms uh sweet this is i think a lot of people's favorite sweet from the catalog. Um, this will be July's Club. Now, July's Club is very special. It's our anniversary. And every year I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do something for our anniversary and then time gets away from me and then I forget. And then, or I, it doesn't, I can't get something in time. This year, I planned ahead and I have something really fun that's gonna be in July's kit, something additional as an anniversary, little treat for everyone. So just so that you know, July is our four year anniversary Got to remember, I need to like set a reminder on my cal calendar, like in May to remember to do that. Cause sometimes, you know, it takes some time to get those things in the mail. But anyway, this is July's kit. It will feature the Citrus Blooms bundle. You're going to get paper. You're going to get uh, gems. You're going to get five projects, um, four cards and a little hand sanitizer holder because did you guys know that Bath and Body Works has Mediterranean, like a Amalfi Coast? Uh, hand sanitizer. Hello. Perfect. It's like they knew. Um, and it's $45. You get all of that. It comes in like a little plastic thing like this. Sometimes they're bigger. Like this month I kept the paper six by 12 so that, so when I do that, I get a, the longer envelopes, um, the plastic envelopes. So $45 includes all of that plus shipping, plus a PDF, plus a video. All right. So, uh, subscription period for Mediterranean Blooms Club Crate Kit for July is open. Um, there's a link at the top of my blog and you can stay in as long as you want. It's a reoccurring uh, payment that happens. If you wanna stay for one month, that's totally fine. You could just cancel it. If you wanna stay for four months and then cancel, totally fine. There's no penalty for however long you stay. But if you stay for six months, there is a reward. You get $25 product credit. And this month I sent 54 product credits to club members. Uh, so thank you all um, who stay in for six months. It really means a lot to me. And I love putting in that order uh, to see what everybody chooses for their product credit. So anyhow, that is that. I'm going to put this away. You have until July 7th.
to subscribe to that. So you got plenty of time. And then um, Charming Duck class to go. Okay. So this is a standalone class. Sometimes I know uh, people get confused. Is this club create? Is this a class? This is a class and it's a like a one off. You pay for it. That's it. There's no reoccurring anything. Um, this month or in my class is the Charming Duck Pond. So cute. It includes a mini album. And I just put in my cardstock order. We're going to try to work on this, my daughter and I, next week. It will ship the first week of July because I will be gone the last 10 days of June. Um, but we're going to try to get a head start on it next week. Um, there are four options. The option with the bundle, the option without the bundle. You need the bundle, okay? You need the bundle um, to make your projects. The dies cut out. They're your stamped images, but it also cuts out the little cute ducks in the paper. Um, it'll cut out all these cute little cattails too. There's a circle die that cuts out like a little opening and a piece of cardstock. You'll, you'll need the dies and the stamps for sure. Um, in the class, you're gonna get a full pack of paper, bolts of ribbon, and a pack of dots. You'll get uh, five cards and the mini album kit to make at, at home. There's no online class for this. Um, it's PDF, and there's a video for the mini album. Um, so with the bundle, option one. Without the bundle, option two. That's for those of you that already have it or maybe you're a demo and you order it yourself. Option three is for my team, the Sweet Stampede. They get the kit for $25. Uh, make sure you check our team blog to see exactly what that entails. Um, and then the fourth option is PDF only $15 in my PDF store. And it does include the link for the mini album. It's there as well um, on that first page. Um, so you can buy the PDF anytime. And as soon as you buy it, the website emails it to you. Now about 10% of the time, the PDF email doesn't show up. You guys know how this goes. Didn't get the email, can't find it, looked in spam, not there. That's fine, just email me and I will resend it. For some reason, some people's emails are a little um, strict, we'll say that. And they're like, ah, this is spam and they block it. So if that happens, just email me and we we'll, we will figure out. Thanks, Becky. This is my favorite color. I could do this, this nail color every single time. It's my favorite. My nail girl knows. Oh yeah. You want the pink this time? I'm like, yes. <laughs> so anyway, deadline for this is next Friday. Okay. So if you want this kit, you got to register by next Friday. Okay. That's it for all of that. Um, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, make sure you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com. There's a free PDF. Um, you guys, I got a new computer. I have now have a desktop and a laptop. And my desktop doesn't have the same fonts <laughs> as my laptop. And it's driving me crazy. Um, I tried to transfer them over. They didn't transfer over. So then when I print something or I make something, it doesn't have the right fonts on it. And I'm like, wait a minute. This looks wrong, but anyways, it, I think the PDF is from my laptop, so the fonts will be cuter than this. The PDF is free. It has the supply list and the measurements for all three projects that we're going to make today. It has the host code. So the host code, if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, I will give you, I will send you a little make and take kit for free. They look like this. Um, I don't send any stamped images. You've got to do your own stamping. So you'll need the round we go bundle. I'm also using the sketched butterfly on the first card. So, you know, I'm sure you have a butterfly set or if you need a butterfly set, it's a really good one. Um, I, again, I don't do any stamping, okay? Um, but you get a little thank you tag. You get all three cards or all, well, three projects. Not It's two cards in a box today. Um, and I think you tag and I send them for free on Wednesday of the following week. Okay. So that is that the PDF, save it, print it, do whatever you want, um, to it. However, you know, however you, it serves you best. It'll always be there. You know, I was just thinking the other day, what if something happened to my Google account where I have everything uploaded, you know, like, oh my gosh. So hopefully it'll be there forever. <laughs> You know, these weird, these weird thoughts enter my mind at night when I'm laying in bed. I'm like, oh, panic technology. Okay. Anyhow, we're going to pretend like that would never happen. Nothing could ever happen to your Google drive. Right? Right guys. Mary Ellen Ryan is our winner from last week. Mary Ellen, I would love to send you the flower cart bundle. Thank you for sharing my video on Facebook. 
I don't think I have your mailing address, so please email me and let me know um, so I can send that to you. Congratulations to Mary Ellen. Um, this week I've got the Tune In Bundle. Um, we just did this on Facebook Friday two weeks ago. One of my very favorites in the catalog. So if you uh, would like to win, just share the video either on Facebook or on YouTube and I'll pick somebody at random next week. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Um, one thing I wanna tell you guys too, next week, Facebook Friday, I'm not sure, I, I think I'm probably gonna do it on Thursday. We're leaving town very early on Saturday morning, so Friday I will probably be kind of frazzled and busy, so I think Thursday. So let's plan Thursday afternoon next week for Facebook Friday, okay? So then it'll be Facebook Thursday. And next week we're doing pocket thoughts, the little pocket dies. Okay. Shall we start? Our first project is the project that also features the Sketch Butterfly Bundle, which is also on sale, $44, in our current bundle sale. So make sure you check it out. All right, this is, I didn't know what to call this card. I'm calling it a half card because the card base is just small, but it's the size of a regular card. So here's an envelope. You see how it, it will fit perfectly in your envelope? All right, I didn't know. It's not a mini card because it's it's the same size, but it's like a half card base. And I've made one of our fun florets and uh, put that on the front. Isn't that fun? And then on the inside, we'll do some of the butterflies. I put a little butterfly right in the middle. And I'm doing all purples this week. I pulled out Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, a Petunia Pop. So for all my purple friends, who love purple, the, these projects are for you. Okay, now for our rosettes, you guys, um, turn on your hot glue gun, okay? And then you're also gonna want a, I call it a silicone mat, but it's really called a silicone craft sheet, and we sell these, and I have it listed on today's supply list. It's so good for hot glue, okay? You can see mine's old, it has copper paint on it from something, I don't know, but it's fabulous. So if you need one of those, I have it listed today. Okay, now we're gonna do Gorgeous Grape and I have it somewhat done already because this kind of takes time. But I wanna show you on, on this, this is uh, pretty in pink. Here's the die and you wanna cut out two of these, okay? And it does all the little score lines for you and it has these little tabs. I've done this multiple times now and I have found the best way to do it is to, it's easier to accordion fold them separately, but then I find that when I tape it, I haven't folded them right. I have to go back and fold back and forth, back and forth. So I have decided that the best way to do it is to adhere them together first, all right? And I think tear and tape is probably our best choice here. Um, liquid glue I did, but I made a mess and you could see it. So I'm sticking with tear and tape. You're gonna put tear and tape right there on that tab and you're gonna line them up. Now notice we've got like a, a pointy edge, which looks kind of like a fence, doesn't it? A fence on this side and a scalloped edge on this side. So you can decide, let me show you the difference. My favorite is definitely the scalloped. Here's the scalloped edge, okay? And then here's the pointy edge. Um, the, this, the, the scalloped edge to me feels like sweeter and the pointy edge feels more like 4th of July, you know, like we're gonna make a 4th of July pennant or something. Um, but either way, you have choices, scalloped or pointy, okay? All right, now you're gonna start, we've attached this and you're gonna just start and go back and forth, accordion fold. And this is gonna take you a few minutes. It's a little bit tedious, back and forth, back and forth and just really kind of squeeze as you're going all the way down. And I've already done this one like this, okay? This one is Highland Heather. Uh, this one is Gorgeous Grape. I'm just, I'm just switching it up. All right, so once you've got it all accordion folded, now we're going to adhere it. Um, and I'm gonna put that like that. I'm gonna take that tab and put it behind the back side of the opposite one, okay? So, tear and tape right here. And you really wanna get your tear and tape the exact same 
uh, as the tab, the exact same size and shape as the tab. So really, I would take the time to snip it and make it exactly so that you can't see it on your final project. Hey, patience. <laughs> That's funny. Are you an Arkansas fan, Patience? I'm sure you are. And I remember when I was growing up, my mom's best friend was a Arkansas fan. And we heard that woo, sue, whatever pig that you guys say all the time. It makes me laugh. Reminds me of her. All right, now adhere. Hi, Lois. Um, I'm reading your comment, Nicole. Your card sketch butterfly bundle would go with a butterfly. Oh yeah, that that sketch butterfly is really cute. Okay, so now once you have it like a ring, decide if you want the points out or the scallops out. And I definitely want the scallops out. So kind of gather it in the middle, and then okay, I'm you know because I'm making a video, it's gonna make it look really hard. It is not really hard. You just have to lay it down and make it behave. Okay, so there. Now, this is the back side. You can tell it's the back side. Whoops, I'm pulling it apart because these little adhesive things are right there. Now, I have cut out two of these, all right, from Highland Heather, and they are from the die set. And I'm gonna put one down on the bottom. This is gonna be the back, all right? So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna set that down so it kind of holds it in place. And then I'm gonna take a big dab of glue. Now, am I gonna burn myself, you guys? Do you think I'm gonna burn myself? Let's hope not. All right, I want the scallops on the outside. Well, darn it, stay. You know, I didn't have this problem the last time I made this. Why is it doing this now? Okay, my hot glue is gonna dry. All right. Well, I guess we need some more tear and tape. Where did I put it? Right here. That's weird. Why is it doing that? I've made literally probably 20 of these and not one time have they popped open. Not one stinking time. All right. Let's try to make this work. Come on. Don't embarrass me in front of everyone. Let's see. Maybe if I go this way this time, let's see. All right, gather it and push it down and stay. It's not staying. Okay, well, let's see. What is happening, you guys? Okay. Maybe we'll use the pink one. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it down on this and hold it in place and it'll, you think my glue is still gluey? It doesn't feel like it. All right, stay right there, stay together. Do what I tell you to do, paper. <laughs> All right, now that you have it right there, hold it in place. I am gonna put a little hot glue there. You know, do you guys make a mess with hot glue? I make a mess with hot glue, always. I even saw the picture that I posted yesterday, that card had like a little hot glue string on it. I could see it in the photo. All right, now lay that down on there and tell that guy to stay together. Let's bring in a clothes pin while it's drying and you just stay right there. Well, let's see, we'll, we might put a little hot glue there. You should not have to, and I don't know why it's making it seem like you do. Okay, there's your rosette. It should be really easy, <laughs> but it's not. Is it Friday the 13th? I'm putting a block on top of it so it'll stay flat. Okay, now for your card base, you're gonna get a piece of thick basic white that is five by five and a half. It's five and a half inches across. And on the short side, you'll just score it at two and a half. And then this paper, do you guys recognize this paper? This is our flowering zinnia paper. There's those zinnias. And we're gonna put that right there. I love this grid pattern. Now, learn from my mistake. I made the card and then I was like, well, let me do some stamping inside. But then I couldn't lay it flat. And it's very hard to stamp when you can't lay your card flat. So you wanna do the stamping before you attach the rosette, okay? So let me get a piece of grid paper and we're gonna stamp 
our butterflies. Let's do this one first. We're using a lemon lolly, okay? And we're gonna do these little like, I don't know, stars, starry things. All right, and lemon lolly. And then in gorgeous grape, we will do, I can see it's coming apart already. I am gonna have to add some more glue. Then we're gonna add, I swear to you, that has not happened one single time in all the rosettes that I've made. Not one time. Happy birthday and gorgeous grape. And then we shall do our little cute butterflies. And these are really cute. We'll do these in just Highland Heather. Isn't that pretty? And I stamped them also on the envelope just because I had the envelope here and I thought that would be really pretty. Um, while we are stamping, let's stamp our sentiment for the front as well. Whoops. I've got a little um, nested essential rectangle. And where's my stamp? Let's see, do I want to clean it? Yes, okay. Lemon Lolly right here. This is the smallest nested rectangle. All right, let's bring this back over so you guys can see how it's torturing me. All right, can I do it without making a mess? Really, you should not have to do this. I think if you take a hair dryer and blow it on your projects when you're done, it gets rid of all the strings. So they may try that. I feel like I read that somewhere, but I have never tried it. So strange. I'm sure I did something wrong. It won't even hold it. Okay, let's do it like this. Stay, stay there. All right, for your little butterflies, I'm gonna, I've cut the solid one from Lemon Lolly. Don't you guys love Lemon Lolly? It's such a sweet, soft yellow. And I'm gonna put this butterfly right in the middle, like that. We'll let that sit there for a second. And then we're gonna come over here with dimensionals somewhere. And I'm gonna put three dimensionals just because we want it to stay. All right, now get your envelope when you do this, okay? I like these colors together too, Jean, a lot. All right, so you put your card on top of your envelope so that you know you've put your circle down low enough, okay? You wanna make sure that it's gonna fit in your envelope, okay? Really? That's interesting, Karen. Isn't that funny? She says she watched another demo you do this last week and hers did the same thing. Well, we're going to make another one in the last project, so we'll see. It's like they're just waiting for us to go on camera and then it's just going to pop open. All right, glue that, your beautiful florette, down there. Ah. And then we'll take, you know, let's just take a glue dot. Man, glue's not my friend today. And we're gonna put just a glue dot right there. And we'll stick that guy right there. Now, I couldn't decide. See how this one has the, the twine on top of the butterfly and this one has it behind. I think I like it better on top but you have options, decide whichever one you wanna do, okay? And look, I did this backwards. You can see this is Highland Heather and this is Gorgeous Grape, but on this one, I did Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. I didn't mean to do it that way, but I did and it works. All right, so get your twine and tie a little tiny bow. Not too terribly big. If you're gonna do it behind the butterfly, then make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. It, when, I, when I, something goes wrong, when I'm making a video, I try to think of it that way. Yep, that's just a way 
to problem solve for everybody to see. It's not just you. Here's how you can handle it if it happens to you. Today, in fact, we're going to adhere that with a dimensional. I was designing a box for next month's all-star tutorial video, and it took me literally like eight tries to get it right. I could not get it right. So, you know, it happens. It definitely happens. All right, last but not least, remember these beautiful rainbow adhesive back dots? These were in the spring mini catalog um, with the hot air balloon paper. And the little um, lemon lolly ones go perfect. And there's your card. Would you guys call this a half, a half card? A mini, what would you call it? I don't know. Um, Mary Alice asked, does it get crushed in the envelope? Probably. <laughs> I mean, it is the postal service. If you're going to spend, send it through the postal service, probably, but you know, I would probably not worry about that. It fits pretty well. You probably are going to definitely need to put in a, um, a non-machinable stamp. It's the thought that counts, right? I mean, they're not going to say, Hey, Erica, the card you sent me was crushed. They're gonna be like, oh my God, the card you sent me was so cute, right? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, there's our first card. Um, I use the non-machinable stamps. They're the ones with the butterflies on them and they're about a dollar. I use that on most of my cards um, because I have gotten a few back that says, eh, it's too thick, you need more postage. So I was told at one time to use the non-machinable stamps. Um, you'll see it if you go to the Postal Service website, they're there. Um, I think they're about a dollar each. So anyhow, that's what I use. I use that, I don't hardly ever buy regular stamps anymore just because they always tell me, you need more postage. I've used those for years. Okay, there's our first card. I hope you guys like it. I really love the colors too. All right, next up, we're going to do some stamping. Making We'll make a rosette that's much easier this time, a stamped rosette. And this is my favorite color combination, black and white stripes with pink. It's <laughs> Karen says she's eating a snack size Snickers for your frustration. Thank you, Karen, so much. Thank you. I'll, I'll have to stop on the way to pick my daughter up from the camp and get myself a Snickers. Ugh. But that's how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna make this, this cute little flower, pretty in pink, black and white. Does it get any better? No, I don't think so. Um, let's make our background first. Um, you are gonna need, um, so this is a four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic black, and then a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth inch piece of white. So just barely gonna frame it, okay? Thanks, Karen. Um, then, if you use your grid paper, it'll help you get these lined up. And I think it's best to do, to use liquid glue, okay? Just because you're gonna have wiggle room. So cut yourself a bunch of half inch strips. I think really you just need six or seven. And they're half inch, and I always like to make them longer than they need to be. Because if I cut them the right size, they're gonna be short. <laughs> Every time, they're gonna be short. So I cut them longer. And then I just, I'll go and I'll snip them off. I'm not very precise when I cut. I try to be, but you know, I'm always in a hurry. Always just in a hurry, 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 hurry. Get this done, do this. All right, we're gonna put these and I'm just eyeballing it, but you can use those grid lines there on your grid paper to put them on about a half inch, about a half inch apart. Like that. We're gonna go all the way down. You guys, we got rain this week and I was so excited. You know, we don't get rain here, like ever. And we got about four inches in about 12 hours. So like our weatherman says, we have rain bombs here in South Texas. Rain bombs. Flooded, the pool overflowed. You know, we can't win. Feast or famine. So you guys always have to give your weather report because you know in my next life I'm going to be a weather person. I love weather. All right. <laughs> if you didn't know that about me, I love the weather. I really love. I don't know if I'm smart enough to be a weather person, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try. 
All right, we're gonna use um, Pretty in Pink and we're gonna stamp this. And all you're gonna do is take it and turn it, not gonna re-ink it at all, and you're just gonna set it down in between. So now you have a two-toned Pretty in Pink um, flower or rosette. I know, right, Lisa, aim for the lake. The lake did get some rain, but the lake is gonna need a hurricane. Like that's the only way the lake's gonna fill up is if we have a flooding event, a big flooding event, unfortunately. Um, our, our lake is 2.6% full now. I, I think I'd be a fun weather person too. They wear cute clothes too, don't they? Weather, the weather girls. Dylan Dreyer on the Today Show is adorable. She's always so cute. And she actually has a meteorology degree. All right, now for the inside, I didn't show you the inside. I'm just gonna stamp the smaller rosette like that. Um, but here's the thing, if you stamp it in the corner and then turn it, it does, it has more ink over here on this side because it didn't, didn't set down all the way. So if I stamped it, see how it's, we would have this weirdness. So instead of turning it one time, re-ink it, stamp off, and then, if I can get it, I can't see. Where are my glasses? Why am I having trouble? Okay, here we go. There we go. And then stamp in between, okay? So just be careful. I learned that the first time. See how it, it has the square side of the, of the um, cardstock. So you need to, I have to make sure I have these right, because you can barely see the ink. There we go. So cute, I love those. I think that's fun for a birthday. All right, and then we'll stamp happy birthday in memento black right here, happiest birthday. All right, now that's gonna go on the inside of the card. Um, we are gonna cut this out with a die. Do I have a cut in the box machine around? I do, right here. Um, I need a cute weatherman name. They do have cute names, don't they? I know. I have to think about that. You guys, I have to um, come up with a quote for my, I'm, I'm reaching, I'm close to my $2 million milestone. And when you reach your million dollars, your two million, your three million, they write a little article about you. And they want like a, like a quote about you know, like kind of inspirational, and I'm, I'm, that's a lot of pressure. Don't you think, to have to come up with something like that? So, I think I know what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you. There's something I say to my kids all the time, and it applies to stamping. So, I think I know, but I gotta, I gotta think about it for a while. This little circle, I'm just telling you where my brain is. This little circle, thanks Kimberly. Um, is from the Spotlight on Nature dies. These dies have been out of stock, but I noticed like 30 minutes ago, I was able to add them to my order. So if you haven't gotten these, I didn't even mention that on the other project. This is a, the large, largest Spotlight on Nature circle. These are awesome, awesome dies. If you don't have them, make sure that you get them. Um, and the bundle, of course, is on sale. All right, I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle. Pretty in pink, that circle dot uh, stamp is also in this um, round we go stamp set. And then this little banner, I know you guys probably can't even see it because the table is white, is the Happy Little Things die set. Just has two little cute dies in it. It's very cute. A little two, one's a, like a banner and the other's like a label. Perfect. All right, put that right there with a dimensional. Now, behind us, we're gonna put a bow. And do I have enough ribbon here to tie a bow? Let's see, I had like a remnant left and I wanted to see, but it's gotta be pretty big. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's big. Now, can I get this off? I hate this, this end part. It always has a little piece of tape on it and it frays the ribbon. 
Yeah. Okay. I have a bolt of ribbon. Let's just use this. I don't want to stand there and pick that tape off in five minutes. All right. Now we're going to pull this so that it's big. All right. We want it big because we want it to show behind our rosette. All right, so get the, the little legs, one going up, one going down, and we're gonna stick it on the back like that. And all I'm gonna do is just put some adhesive and stick that like that, all right? And then we'll put some dimensionals on the back here in a second, just like that. All right, now let's come back to our strips. Yes, some of them glued to the, the grid paper, but that's okay. Now just go along. You can use your trimmer if you want. That one has glue on it. It's gonna get glue on my scissors. And there we go. There's your little striped paper. And I'll put this on here. Just a real narrow basic black frame. And we're gonna use the Pretty in Pink card base. Are you guys loving Pretty in Pink? It's just a really good pink and I am loving it. All right, put that there. Let's put this on the inside like this. All right, and then we're gonna put, I am gonna put a stack of two dimensionals. We're gonna make this two dimensionals high. Again, non-machinable stamp. But just put it in an envelope and hand it to the person. <laughs> I know, the mail. Yes, it's so good, isn't it, Trisha? All right, I'm gonna put it kind of at an angle. The bow needs to be like at an angle like that. And then for our hip hip hooray, let's just use a foam adhesive strip. And we're gonna put that on the back. Did you really, Stacy? you still had it, that's awesome. All right, put that there. And then you can use, there's two choices really. I'm, I'm running really low on my in color dots. So I found, I have a bunch of these left. These are, ah, uh, the name is eluding me. Pearls, what is pearls? Uh, it's some pearls. We have so many of these adhesive back dots and pearls and things. I wonder how they come up with all the names of them, honestly. Somebody's gonna tell me what the name of these are. And just put a few. I like to do odd numbers, so five. All right, and there you go. There you go. Now I have three birthday cards. I send my team birthday cards every month. So I've got three made for July. What do you guys think? If you don't want to do pink, blooming pearls, Terry, thank you very much, blooming pearls. If you don't want to do pink, yellow would be cute with black and white, right? Purple, um, green, green would be cute with black and white. It pays to be a craft order. That's funny, Stacey. All right, so there you go, card number two. We've got one more, and the next one is a 3D project. And I will show you what I had originally made. I originally made this box right here and it has a Kinder chocolate treat in it and my daughter wanted to eat it and I wouldn't let her. Um, but I didn't like how it doesn't match the purple. And I was just kind of like, meh, I don't know. Meh. And then I was at Walmart and I found these. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's Petunia Pop ish petunia pop ish so we have to make a holder for that so that's what we're gonna do i linked them they're like 96 cents at walmart and you know over in like the makeup area you know um but they have them on amazon too if you can't get to walmart you want to buy them in bulk they have them on amazon um and here are our boxes now you guys see a little bit darker than petunia pop so maybe let's look do i have highland heather still sitting here um I think Highland Heather is too, maybe it's like a light, uh, rich raspberry. It really is more like Petunia Pop, in my opinion. 
Okay, I thought these would be fun for um, a bridal, uh, bridal shower favor or a girls' night out little fun treat. And then the box slides down underneath that. All right, and then here, look, we have a spiky here and a scallop here. So, I mean, you really can't tell. You really can't tell the difference. I mean, a little bit, but it's not something you notice right away. All right, let's make the rosette. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Let's see. I already have it all put together. Let you know. Let's just go ahead because I feel burned from the first one. I mean, not literally, but you know, like like the project did me dirty. Oh no. Do I need another glue stick? No. Okay, hold on. Let me get a glue stick. Hold, please. Okay, you know, there's still glue in there. Why is it not coming out? Let's see. Come on. Man, we're just gonna have all kinds of problems today. What is the date? It's the 14th? My hot glue gun's not working, you guys. Hmm, it is still on. Let's see, it feels hot. Hmm, that's weird. Look, does your glue gun look like this, you guys, or is it just me? <laughs> Please tell me your hot glue gun looks like that. Okay, well, maybe I'm not gonna get to make another rosette. There's a little drop. Let's see if we can get that. I don't know why it's not coming out. We're not gonna be able to make it without hot glue. All right, down and around. Squeeze it. Oh, really, Karen? Um, that was the first thing I noticed, the scallop and the pointy. Because I like scallops. No, it didn't come in plug, Lois. That's what I thought, and it's warm. I don't know what's happening. I have another hot glue gun. Let's see if I push it real hard. There, 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 there's a little drop. All right, let's put this down. Let's see if we can get enough glue. All right, now listen, Mr. Rosette. You do what I tell you to do without any fuss. All right. I saw another person make a little box that fit these fit perfectly in so that when you push it down, um, it stays in the box. It was like a three inch box. And I thought that was a really smart thing to do as well. Now I only have one hand and I can't push it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm giving up on that. Let's see, good thing I have another one right here that's ready to go. Do we wanna use pink or purple? I mean, Pretty in Pink or Highland Heather, that's weird. Dan, I was so prepared. I had it all pre-folded and I was ready to go. I mean, you just can't even predict that your hot glue gun's gonna be like, eh, no thanks, I'm not gonna work today. All right, let's make the box. Let me find my measurements. I have them right here. Petunia Pop. One of our new in colors. Do you guys like Petunia Pop? I like it. I like it. I'm not a huge purple person, but when I use it, I love purple. I mean, I love the purples. I don't know why I don't love purple more than I do, because I always end up loving it. All right, seven and a half by 11. Okay, should I warm up the other <laughs> glue gun? But Elizabeth, then I get out of making it again. I don't have to make it if I if I don't plug the other hot glue gun in. It'll take too long. It'll take, come on, it'll take too long. All right, score the long side at half an inch, seven and a half and eight, right? And then, score, suddenly I was like, wait a minute, that looks wrong. Score the short side at half an inch, three and a half, four and, let me look at my notes, seven and a half. No, seven. What did I put on the PDF? Why did that say seven? Oh, did I, hold on, hold, please hold. That's right, no, it should be seven. Oh, my measurements are off. Seven and a half by 11, half an inch, 
So, oh, I was looking at I was looking at the wrong thing, wasn't I? No, I don't know. It's right, but my notes are wrong. Half an inch, three and a half, four, and seven. So it should be seven, not seven and a half. The last score line. The last four. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I made this yesterday on a video. No problems. No problems with the rosettes. No problems with my measurements. It's one of those days. Um, Jean, we used to use a hot glue gun in high school, a bunch, making mums. Do you guys may, hopefully you know what a mum is. That's a Texas thing. Anyway, um, we used to do that a lot in high school. And the cool melt hot glue guns are better, but man, they still will burn you. They will burn you. And it is not fun. Um, okay, once you have your lines burnished, see how we have this larger section over here? This is a section that folds over. So I'm gonna completely cut off these four sections, okay? So let's just completely cut off those four. Okay, now cut off just this one right here and you're gonna go in all the way to the second score line, but we're gonna leave that little tab there. Okay, like that. Do that again, all the way in, but don't cut off the tab. All right, now on this side, the side that we cut the big section off, we're gonna also cut off that little square. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to my paper snips because we just want little tiny cuts. I know, I know. Uh, the things we did with a hot glue gun, they really are dangerous, aren't they? They really are. I think one of my kids, if I remember, grabbed one of my, grabbed my hot glue gun when they were little and burned themselves. Ugh, it's not good. Now, here is what it looks like if you're watching later and you wanna pause the video. Now, this piece that we cut off here, save this, because we're gonna use this, okay? Um, uses the Paper Formula Gorilla Glue Sticks for her cardstock flowers. Lisa, I don't even know what that is. Paper Formula Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna have to look into that. I know what Gorilla Glue is, but I didn't know there was a paper formula. Interesting, huh? The paper flower lady. That is a very interesting tidbit, Lisa. Lisa, you always have good, interesting tidbits. Always with the good, interesting little tips. Lisa had a snake this week. Did you guys figure it out? She had this weird hole in her yard and then her husband and her kids saw a little snake head sticking out of it. Ugh. All right, put <laughs> um, tape here. One, one day we'll have a Facebook Live where we don't talk about snakes, one day. All right, now it just folded over and kind of hugged the other side. All right, so then the bottom, you're gonna fold in the sides, the back, and then the front will um, put tear and tape on that. You guys, my stomach's growling. What are you having for lunch? Every day, lunch is my dilemma. Lunch is my dilemma. I don't know, I don't know why. I can never figure out what to have for lunch. Fold that up. Yesterday I had a bowl of cereal for lunch and let me tell you, it was delicious. It was delicious. I love a bowl of cereal and I feel like it's just, I don't know, like I don't let myself eat cereal because I feel like it doesn't have protein, shouldn't eat it, but man, it's so delicious. Okay, um, where is my stamp and seal? It has run away somewhere. Man, all of my adhesives are plotting against me today. What in the world? Okay, well, let's try liquid glue. This is the Unbound Beauty Designer Series paper. We're gonna put that right there. My little bottom is coming undone. It's super humid today. Let's blame, let's blame that on the adhesive problems. It's like 99% humidity. Ooh, chicken Caesar wrap from Jimmy John's. Delicious, Carla, that sounds delicious. All right, we're gonna put that there. Now, for the top, this little piece that we saved right here, we're gonna cut it down, okay? Get your trimmer and just cut it to, I believe it's two and seven eighths. 
by two and seven eighths. Okay, and then get your cut and emboss machine and we're gonna emboss it with this new embossing folder called Cute Crochet. This is one of the things someone picked this week for their Stampin', uh, for their Club Create Rewards. And I was like, I need to use that, that's so cute. It has these little squares on it. So I'm gonna put my cardstock there. So we have like, it fits four squares almost perfectly. So put that down, make sure I didn't bump it. Run that through. And if you look, it does kind of look like it has a rosette in the middle. And something else weird with this embossing folder, it, it snaps, like it snaps together and I can't get it apart. So, if I drop it, it helps. I don't know why, I've never had an embossing folder do that, but this one sticks together, it's hard to pull apart. All right, now let's put this in like this. And we're gonna fold this over and we'll put some glue and we'll put this right here. All right, so now we're gonna use, oh look, another un, or a Spotlight on Nature circle. I'm telling you guys, I forgot about these and when I discovered them about two weeks ago, when I discovered I had ordered them and forgot, I was like, obsessed. I have to use them on every project. The circles are bigger than our stylus shape circles, which I like. All right, so now we're going to put this here so that this will tuck down, but we want to make sure that our adhesive isn't too high, right? So it will tuck down and not touch the adhesive. So I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to just make like a little line below it like that. And then we'll put our larger basic white spotlight on nature circle right there. All right, now let's bring over our rosette. Remember when I made this rosette a little while ago? <laughs> I made it days ago. Come on, come on, hot glue gun, come on, come on, come on. You think a dot is enough? Let's see, there we go. All right, we're gonna put that there that is, uh, is that Pretty in Pink or is that Bubble Bath? That's Bubble Bath. And I've got somewhere on this table a stylish shape banner. And we're going to stamp the sentiment and petunia pop. Now, we used the sentiment a minute ago, and I believe it's over here. And we need to clean it. Was it your first must-have? You know, Lewis, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to Spotlight on Nature. It's not really my style, but I have seen a bazillion projects with it, and it is a gorgeous bundle. The stamp set, gorgeous. So I don't know why. Sometimes, you know, you just something doesn't stand out to you right at first, and then you see it, other people using it, and you're like, oh, okay. All right, I kind of cut that at an angle because I'm just going to slide it. I'm gonna slide it, come on. I'm gonna slide it right under there. What is happening? I hope nobody's watching for the first time today because I feel like it's been a disaster from the first project. All right, we're gonna take a bow, petunia pop, ribbon, and I don't have to remind you all that Stampin' Up's color coordination is always the best. Petunia Pop cardstock, Petunia Pop ribbon, Petunia Pop pattern paper, Petunia Pop ink. It's all the same. And we're gonna put that, put our bow kind of like that, like that, like that, and then boom, there is your cute party favor box. Even though we had to use a different color. Actually, maybe that is pretty in pink, cause this, yeah, look, that is pretty, in, no? Pretty in pink. Bubble bath, petunia pop. Oh my goodness. I need a nap today. Somebody needs a nap. It's me. I need a nap. All right, let's look. I have some bonus projects. I showed you this one. I'll share the measurements for this next week, okay? And then this one, I was trying to see. Let me grab these. 
I was trying to see if I wanted to do it with a rosette and I felt like it wasn't nearly as cute as the stamp. What do you guys think? And that's Flirty Flamingo, by the way. I like the stamp better. I think it just looks better. I mean, you could do it with a rosette. All right, so um, that's that. And then the project I shared yesterday is this one right here. That's fun. That's a fun card with the, um, the little dotted background stamp. Can't think of the name off the top of my head, but it's listed on my blog post. More purples. And then, of course, you have to make a flower out of these, the dies. Um, I didn't use these dies on any of today's projects right here but they make perfect flowers and just find a stem in your dye collection. And there you go. Did I do anything on the inside? Nope. All right, so I'll, I'll post this one next week in that box. But if you would like today's projects as a make and take pro, uh, kit, all you have to do is put it in order between now and Monday at midnight. Look at the bundles. Um, this bundle is $40, which will get you these for free because it's 35 or more. Um, also that Unbound Beauty bundle. Let's see, I have it all printed out. Let's see how much the Unbound Beauty, I mean, Spotlight on Nature. That's the ones we use. I keep getting those confused. Spotlight on Nature right here with the circles and that beautiful stamp set. That is a butterfly too. Um, $46.25 said when I printed it out it was unavailable but today I ordered I added the dies to my order that I put in today a second set um what else the um tune in bundle is $36.75 charming duck pond is not available but it should be available the last week of June bistro burger $40.75 so you got some pretty good options this one friends for life is what next month's all-star tutorial pdf will feature case you're interested. Okay, that is it for me. Remember next week, probably Thursday. Um, what's not available until after the sale, Katie? Is it the um, Spotlight on Nature? Because the dies, I put them, I ordered them today. I mean, if the stamp set is on back order, it'll be back pretty fast because we make those. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it'll be back before the end of the sale because we make those in-house. Stampin' Up! makes those. Sometimes they put a date, like, far. I've been noticing that lately. They'll say, oh, July 1st. But then, like, this one was supposed to be, I think, the 24th. And then today it was back. So I think sometimes they put a date, like, further ahead so we don't get mad, you know, if it's not back by that date. And then, and then they come early. So... All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Next week, Facebook Friday will be on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Okay? All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Bye.